honest, I, I personally had never heard of Paris Hilton before the sex tape. Uh, how did that, that whole deal come from? That wasn't ours, so uh, you'd oh, have to talk to, uh, oh, that was Red Light, who, who did that one. But we were offered that tape, actually. The funny story is we were offered that tape, and um, we turned it down because we didn't feel like there was a chance that we could get the proper sign-offs. And ultimately, Red Light did take it. And, uh, you know, looking back, of course, I wish I, I had, but uh, now that, uh, that one wasn't ours. How did the Pam and Tommy tape come together? Pam and Tommy, that was, uh, there was a company called IEG, Internet Entertainment Group, and they were the company that owned the rights to that movie. And what they did was they allowed us to be the exclusive uh, video distributor. So we were just acting as an agent for this other company. What I was really surprised at, because I, I just saw it for the first time um, when um, Jackie sent me some passwords to your site, mm -hmm. was the Jimi Hendrix sex tape. Mm -hmm. how, how on earth did you get your hands on this one? Well, you know, for... for Jimi Hendrix collectors, there's sort of been some, you know, sort of hubbub about that tape for many, many, many years. Is it him? Is it not him? Nobody knows. You can't really tell. You watch the movie. It's sort of, you know, weirdly shot. Uh, but it was brought to us. And what we did is we put out a challenge to the Jimi Hendrix estate and said, look, if this isn't him, prove it. We'll take it down and we'll pay you, I think it was $100,000. Never heard from them. Never heard from them. So that sort of, um, you know, signaled to us that, that maybe this is the real deal. We put it out, you know, the hardcore Jimmy guys say no, no, no. Other people say yes, but that's sort of the whole mystique that surrounds that tape. Can you talk about any of the sex tapes that you've gotten that you weren't able to clear? We've got a lot of them. I can't really go into each one because of confidentiality, and if I said it, then people could, could sue us. But we've seen a lot come, come, come across our desk. Some people are just uncomfortable with having those tapes out, and they sort of come in waves. I mean, there was a, a while there in between uh, Kim, and uh, it was really between Kim and Farah that was the next really big thing. I think Kendra Wilkinson came after Kim and, and Kendra's did extremely well. Um, but as far as, you know, people talking about it and it being out there and just, you know, gossip sites and things like that, I mean, Farrah really set a new standard. If, if you were to pick a celebrity that you think could beat out Kim Kardashian's numbers? Well, same. You know, I mean, clearly, you know, Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt, that would be an amazing tape. Princess Kate, that if, 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 she, if she did a tape, that would be unbelievable. Um, you know, so there are many celebrities who I don't think are, are really going to be doing any, any, any tapes anytime soon. We tend to get, get girls that aren't at that level. But the interesting part is, or the interesting piece of that is, that if you're Kim or if you're Farah, you can really make the next jump. I mean, Farah is a real star at this point, and people may love her or they may hate her, they may think she's an idiot, but you know what? They can't stop reading about her. You, you guys actually sometimes put out offers to celebrities. Mm -hmm. um, what were some of the bigger offers you put out? Well, we, um, we did one to Pippa Middleton, which was a $5 million offer. We did one to Anna Chapman, who was the Russian spy. We'd done it to Octomom. Um, some, of that is, some of that is, you know, we, we're not fooling ourselves. I didn't really think that Pippa Middleton was going to, um, you know, agree and, and make a tape for us. So some of it is to keep the name out there, the brand out there, and it's fun. You know, and, and people, people sort of in, enjoy that stuff, but you never know.